What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. So uh, I just got done uploading my elementary OS Freya uh, beta 2 review and a fellow YouTube reviewer Caddy linked me to an interesting article um, and I actually had a comment by one of the viewers here that really piqued my interest. Uh, I, I've been out of uh, kind of the Linux ecosystem here for a while so I wasn't really aware of what was going on but Apparently, there's some controversy in and around an article, a blog post rather, that was written um, that was up on Elementary's website in regarding to um, payment for uh, Elementary's operating system moving forward in the future. And let me start off by saying that I normally don't get involved in a lot of this uh, controversy. I don't get involved in a lot of this, um, you know, bickering back and forth. My, site, my, my YouTube channel is really not about that. But, you know, honestly, based on the, the platform that I have and the influence I have um, with my channel, I, I feel a certain responsibility to give my opinion on this. And it's just my opinion. Um, so take it for what you will. Let me start off by saying um, elementary would not exist if it was not for Ubuntu. Now, you could argue that they could rebase it on something other than Ubuntu. Okay, fine. It wouldn't exist if it weren't for the... Um, possibility of basing it on, on on top of another operating system it would not exist without the Linux kernel it would not exist without the display server it would not exist without the sound server it would not exist without the wireless uh, um, technologies or the Bluetooth technologies that were developed at the foundation of basically what is a desktop environment okay and a window manager and a, and a few core applications that were designed by elementary. Um, so my question to the elementary team is, because essentially what they're saying is they feel as though, now this is prior to them editing the article, that they believe um, most users are kind of cheating um, and I'll actually read you that excerpt. It says here that we want users to understand that they're pretty much cheating the system when they choose not to pay for software. That's somewhat of a hypocritical statement. Now, unless you can provide me with any type of um, verification that you've donated to the kernel developers of the Linux kernel to Ubuntu for basing your distribution off of Ubuntu, using their repositories of software, using any of the... Uh, uh, bug fixes for the base of your operating system that they produce because there's man hours and time and people who dedicate their time voluntarily not just to canonical but other users uh, of Ubuntu that do it on a voluntary basis unless you can show me proof that you've donated to any of those people your statement is hypocritical and whoever is handling your PR work needs to have a little bit more maturity because this, this is not being handled in an adult and in a mature fashion. I'm going to be quite honest with you. Um, I feel as though the sense of entitlement comes from whoever is writing this article. Um, because quite frankly, you, you used a free and open source uh, kernel and free and open source operating system to base yours on top of and technologies that were released on, as free and open source which enable you to, your project to even exist and you're telling people that they're cheating the system unless you can show me that elementary is giving donating money back in the same way you want people to donate money to you um, then I'm gonna stand on my my statement that it's hypocritical um, now I say all that to say this do I believe that a, a man's work or a woman's work is worthy of a wage absolutely if you enjoy the software I encourage you to make a donation if if you use it every day and it adds value to your daily experience on Linux then I believe that a donation is is much much deserved okay but to strong arm people and to guilt people in the community into feeling like they're cheating for something well, you should have wrote your entire operating system from, from scratch instead of bogarting Linux, instead of bogarting off of Ubuntu, okay? And then keep it closed source and sell it. But why do you think 
it's your operating system has been downloaded two million times because it's honestly without the Linux base you wouldn't have been downloaded two million times why because people love Linux they don't just love elementary they love Linux okay so you're right a lot of the presupposition of open source and of Linux comes with the fact that it's free but you can look at a project who I believe is doing things in a responsible fashion and has been around for a long time and has people actually living off of the developers living off of donations look at Linux Mint okay they've handled themselves like a class act all right they've handled themselves in a mature fashion okay and they didn't guilt trip anybody into saying that they're cheating the system if they download something at, at no cost. I'm, I'm going to go on on a limb and say, quite frankly, this could be potentially the demise of any of your hopes of turning this into something that you can do for a living. You need to handle this maturely and you need to come out and, and, and rework this whole situation because from what I can see, this is not what Linux stands for. This is not what it's about. That doesn't mean that you can't collect donations okay and reinvest it back in the project you make some statement here that you're not out trying to buy a yacht there's nothing wrong if you even made a living there's nothing wrong if you made a good living off of software imagine if Linus Torvalds okay um, took the approach that you're doing right now Linux would be very different than what it is today and quite frankly if anybody deserves any kind of money uh, it would be the GNU project or Linus Torvalds, Linus Torvalds himself okay um, if you wanted to do this for a living, if you wanted to make this your passion and how you support and put food on your table, there's nothing wrong with that. And I have no problem if you made a good living doing it, okay? But these tactics uh, aren't going to make you successful. You need to grow up a little bit, quite frankly. And I say that with all due respect because I am somebody who's been an advocate for this project now for years, literally, pushing people, pointing people. To your project for a very long time and this is disappointing I'll be honest it's extremely disappointing and there needs to be uh, somebody who does a better job at handling uh, this type of stuff because uh, quite frankly um, after I get done with this video I'm wiping elementary off my hard drive I'll no longer support this project by featuring it on my channel and pointing users toward it okay um, I'm not saying that this can't be made right. I'm not saying that things can't turn around. But from today forward, um, I honestly just don't feel like this is not why I use Linux. This right here. Um, I'm going to link this article so you can actually review the um, before edit and after edit versions of everything that's here um, in case I, you know, didn't quote something accurately or if you want to read more into it um, but this is this is not why I use the Linux operating system it's, it's just not and quite frankly the entitlement and the cheating and the hypo hypocrisy um, is also coming from the elementary team in my opinion unless you can show me money that you're you're donating to Ubuntu that you're donating to um, kernel.org that you're donating to people who um, without them and their open source projects that you didn't pay for, your project wouldn't exist. If you, unless you can prove uh, that to me, I'm going to openly say that my opinion is that you're a hypocrite and that you are standing on the shoulders of giants. Okay, And without those giants and without those shoulders, your project would be nothing. Um, this angers me. I don't get it. You guys have been watching my channel for a long time. I don't get angry. But I, I, I feel like having supported this in the past um, and then seeing something like this now, um, you know, that upsets me. I'll be, I'll, I'm going to be honest with you. It, this, this whole thing upsets me. Um, anyway, uh, that's my take on this. Uh, that's my opinion. Um, Hopefully the elementary team makes this right and uh, and we can move past it. But until then, um, this is just, it's, it's disappointing. 
um, Linux users, and you can look at the Humble Indie Bundle for an example, um, Linux users donate more on average than any other platform. People are willing to pay for good software. Handle it like an adult. Handle it in a mature fashion. Okay? And, and don't do any of this stuff. Don't strong arm people. Don't guilt trip people. Um, it's, it's shameful. Uh, this is all just shameful. So <clears throat> hopefully this gets rectified and remedied. And, uh, you know, because honestly, I do believe that there's a lot of good quality software development that's going on here. Um, and, you know, quite honestly, um, it would be a shame uh, to to have the demise of a good project, some terrible, to, to have that demise be really, really immature PR work. Okay, there was a better way to handle all of this. So, um, anyway, uh, talk to Clem over at... Uh, Linux Mint. Um, that's a class act that's been doing things the right way, and they have paid staff that can dedicate time uh, and full time development to their project. They have sponsors, okay, that that do things like offset the cost of hosting or offer to host. Okay, you mention you make mention of things in here uh, about you know the cost of all of this. Well. They seem to be doing it just fine. Um, no, there's no shame in going over there and, and having a conversation with, with the uh, Linux Mint team. Okay, so anyway, uh, those are just my thoughts. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comment section below. This is not to bash anybody, um, because I hope what this video does is it serves as a wake-up call that this needs to just be handled differently. I'd love to see Elementary come out and just. Um, really, without any edited articles, just come out and say, listen, uh, we handled this in, in a wrong way. We want to give credit where credit's due. Without, again, these giants who had free open source software, of which we didn't pay for, our project wouldn't exist. But here's what we're trying to do. This is a passion. This is something that we want to do. This is what we want to dedicate our, our, our time to full time and be focused on it. And to do that, um, we're going to start taking donations. Um, don't leave out the cheating. Leave, leave out all this, this strong-arming uh, propaganda, okay? Because it's, it's just embarrassing. Um, and get someone who can handle your PR work um, that, you know, I don't know. <laughs> no more. I don't, I, I don't want to bash anyone, but <sighs> this is just um, it's disappointing. And it's upsetting. But anyway, um, hope you guys uh, got something from this video that's at least positive because I, I want there to be a positive outcome. I want to send the message that open source software is quality software and that the developers, uh, if you want to use a donation-based um, system on how you're going to support your project and earn a living, I'm all about it. I know um, that Brian Lunduke was experimenting with his projects that were at one point closed source, then open source. Then I think he tried like a freeware um, version. Um, you know, this is somebody who feeds his family off of, of uh, software, who loves developing, who loves open source, um, but needs to feed his family. You know, and I know he experimented with a lot of different methods on how to generate revenue for that project. Um, but, you know, you obviously want to generate revenue. This is about making money at some point, and there's nothing wrong with that. But you don't, you just, you don't come out and say it. You know, you, you try to guilt people into donating um, instead of just coming out and saying that you want to try to generate revenue. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but just say that. Um, don't do any of this stuff. This is just ridiculous. Anyway, um, have a good night, guys. Uh, that's, that's my take on this. I'll leave an, uh, a link to this article in the video description below. And leave your comments. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. All right, we'll talk to you guys later.